here's how to make a short URL a, or a QR code by using geo.gl tool. And so all you do is go to your Google Drive or whatever long um, link you might need. And so here it says that people at Charlotte Met can do with the link, but I actually want to go ahead and say that anyone with the link can find it or public on the web. And so I'll do anyone with the link and then make sure no sign in, make sure they can view and then save. Okay, now I've got this long link, which would be very hard to tell anyone about. So I can just go here, paste my long link, and then just say shorten URL, and boom, there it is. And there's the picture. Um, and so you can tell if it comes up here with a sign in screen, then you know you haven't made it private, um, that you have made it private. So you need to make it public. It'll show up as a little thumbnail here. So this is great. Press Control C to stop copy, so Control C. And let's just say that, that I want to do this. Um, all I do is paste it into a browser window and top dot type dot QR accurate. When I press return, I have now QR coded that picture so that if anyone takes their mobile device and um, sees that QR code, they'll be able to. Now, I can print it like this, um, but I can also just sort of right click and copy that image and then I'm going to go back to my drive and done. let me go close this out and I'm going to create a document and now I'm going to paste that QR code here and I did control V to paste because I control C to copy now I'm going to control V to paste and it's taking a while which happens, but I'm just going to try it again just in case I didn't paste because that's too fast. There, okay. So this means it's working and there's my QR code. So that it's a little small and I might want kids in the hallway to be able to see it. And that this way I can now, you know, size it. I can add um, some clip art. I can put some instructions into the document and save it as, you know, Washington photo. Washington photo QR. And then, okay, and then if I wanted to make this a scavenger hunt or something, I can start, um, start typing, and I can say scan this code with any scanning app uh, to, and then I can turn this into an assignment or, or just make it something fun for the students. And so that's it. And I can then print this, paste it in the hallway, share it, email it, do whatever I need to.